up guys? Episode four, winning season. Matt and I are gonna head to the gym here and train some chest. And I'm slowly eating my pre-workout meal. It's a lot of food. <laughs> uh, look at these little guys. Uh, you got a side eye. Yeah, Athena. <laughs> oh, she says hello. Big stretch. Wow, she's cute. All right, so yeah, we're uh, eating a pre-workout meal here. Got all of our drinks done. Was an awesome weekend. Week, actually. You guys saw our trip to Mexico. Um, Matt's mom, my mother-in-law, was just here for the weekend. So that was a really good visit with her. And um, now uh, it's really kicking it into overtime here with, like, training. Like, we're getting after it now. Um, oh, I got this winner. Oh, contest winner. Yes. Okay. So we had talked about the Amazon smile and I was going to just pick a winner from whoever, uh, said that they signed up for it. And Ursula Farzada, six, one, nine, four. I'm mailing you that bag. So thank you so much for signing up for that. Um, her her Amazon Smile charity that she donated to just like really touched my heart. It was for uh, uh, a homeless shelter for teens in I believe California, San Francisco. San Francisco. Um, so she donates to that. I think that's awesome. Um, so I'll be sending you the bag. Send me an email. Uh, it's in the description below, and I'll get that out to you. Uh, little thing I wanted to touch on: Heidi Summers from Buff Bunny uh sent me a message and uh, she just sent me like a bunch of workout clothes so it's from her new collection the storm collection um i'll do a little segment for you guys here so guys if you're watching you'll need to fast forward through this probably <laughs> you probably don't want to see that um but yeah she sent me like probably 10 things um so we'll do a little try on haul um in the next segment but i'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna hit the gym Let's All right, it. let's go. Two time Showing up to the show when the curse split She know that I'm worth it, I'm finna go up, I'm aerial I got the hit stash, got a bracelet for impact Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack Quick stack, think fast and I talk real I give a f about how they feel Me and Zay just dropped a propane And it sounded like massive pill For my dog, I'ma ride to the wheels kill Got his hand on the hammer, so keep it legit I been the man with the blueprint I won't stop till I own every brick I used to lay out in the line just to feel the world spin on its axis Now I got the access and the last laugh got it off of the passion Keep it a hundred on the dash now that we got us attraction Slick talker, I'm a showstopper, you are not solid Tread cautious, couldn't go a mile in my toe box Stun the shade with the visine Light it up and bring the vibe in Lime tint, color spot beam on me I'm a star every night lit, ultraviolet Hey, I told to make sure that phone is on silent So we know I'm what the vibe is Take a look in my iris I think she know that I'm high risk I never know what the time is I never know what my mind went Hey, I got a lot on my plate I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that, hey, I got a lot on my plate. I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that I used to toss a coin in the waterfalls in the wishing well. Now I get plenty coin, but I'm self made. You ain't gotta wish me well. You ain't like me then, but I guess it's past tense Cause you tapped in, you was never who you said I see the facade when looking, they really be that quick to tell My guard up, I ain't taking nails If it's not in my favor, won't sign a deal I got the royalty in the mail I got authority in the field Take a look in my iris I be precise with the timing I move on a touch like the high risk I never know where my mind went Hey, I got a lot on my plate I got an eye on the prize And I'ma make sure that we straight yeah. Like it's a lot on my mind I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that, hey, I got a lot on my plate. I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure. 
Shut up. I'm finna go up, I'm aerial. I got the hit stash, got a bracelet for impact. Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack. Quick stack, think fast and I talk real. I give a f about how they feel. Me and Zay just dropped a propane and it sounded like massive pill. For my dog, I'ma ride to the wheels kill. Got his hand on the hammer, so keep it legit. I've been the man with the blueprint, I'm gonna stop till I own every brick. I used to lay out in the line just to feel the world spin on its axis. Now I got the access and the last laugh, got it off of the passion. Keep it a hundred on the dash now that we got us attraction Slick talker, I'm a showstopper, you are not solid Tread cautious, couldn't go a mile in my toe box Stun a shade with the visine, light it up and bring the vibe in Lime tint, color spot beam on me, I'm a star every night lit, ultraviolet Hey, I told to make sure that phone is on silent So we know I'm what the vibe is, take a look in my iris I think she know that I'm high risk, I never know what the time is I never know where my mind went Hey, I got a lot on my plate I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that, hey, I got a lot on my plate. I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that I used to toss a coin in the waterfalls in the wishing well. Now I get. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna do the Buff Bunny haul. Heidi Summer was so awesome. She sent me like all of these clothing for free um, when the Storm Collection dropped. And like I sent her a DM, I had no idea she would even respond to me. Uh, but I am a big, big fan of Buff Bunny and um, I order all the time from them. You guys know from my YouTube videos, you see my outfits. Um, oh my God, these are on backwards. <laughs> Shoot, I have to edit this. Yeah, I'll just no, no, keep I'll it rolling. Tilt it up high. I, know, I just tilted it up high. Ah, that's better. <laughs> that fits better now. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into this. I'm I I don't know all of the names of uh, the items that she sent, but I'm just gonna try them on for you guys, and then you'll be able to see and mix and match on her website. Um, so these shorts are obviously like kind of booty short-ish. I like them because they're high-waisted, like ultra high waist. Um, there is a bit of compression here in the midsection, which I do like. And uh, I think they are pretty like squat proof, cover the butt cheeks, which is good. This is the Candy Wrap Sports Bra. This is one of their most um, in-demand sports bras. And I want to say it's because how much padding you get here like i have implants right but i always have a problem finding sports bras that actually cover the side boob and this is this does a really good job of it and then you can use these to make it tighter or looser um this comes in like a bunch of different colors i have i think two of them in a size medium for like when i'm more shredded this is a large and it fits great i uh, i could probably even Maybe even do an extra large, honestly. Um, so we're gonna keep trying on some more things here. So this one is a light to medium compression. I personally like more of a compression in my shorts, but I do feel like these I could wear like out in public, like walking around and be comfortable. Um, really cute. No seam here in the crotch area. It's just like brushed out. And this sports bra is like, it's uh, very supportive. See the back? I, I love these type of sports bras. And again, with the boob uh, coverage here, this is a size large. It goes down a little. Can I see myself in the mirror? Wow, I actually really like this one. Okay, this might be my favorite one. Okay, let's do another one. Guys, so similar uh, shorts with the light compression here. I love this color. Like, 
the blue, navy blue. We got Athena being crazy pants. Um, so I'm going to be super honest about this sports bra. It's a large. Here's the back. Now, my problem for me, it might not be for you, is my lats are so big that this strap here is kind of cutting in to my back. I could wear this out walking around, whatever, going shopping <clears throat> if I'm not training. But if I was training, I don't think I would wear it because it does cut into me. So if I guess if I sized up to an extra large, it could work. But this is a large. Super cute, though. And then we're going to throw on a top here. This is the crop top. Ooh, that's cute. It's like heavy weight. Uh, not folded over here in the seams, which is nice. You definitely want to hang. <coughs> you definitely want to hang dry this. It's got a bit of a stretch to it. That's the back. And again, this is a large. I think these shorts. 10 out of 10. Super high waist. Shorten the legs here. Everything's kind of like, not too compression where it like hurts your stomach, but just like the perfect compression. Very similar, they're, they're the same style as these ones. Um, and then I'm gonna just throw on this top. And it's cute, it's got like a little hair tie holder on it. Again, this is a large. I'm just gonna, actually no, I really need to take this tag off. I'm not really good with uh, sleeves because my arms are so big. Oh boy, you're, we got the humble brags coming out big in this trial. <laughs> no, it's true. My lats are too big. <laughs> my arms are too big. Actually, this fits really good. This I'm is a too large. Jacked. Wow, I like this. So it's got our little thumb holes, some mesh here through the armpits, breathable. What does the back look like? Looks good. So I would recommend washing this by itself. I bought one similar to Heidi's last collection, the white top, which you guys probably saw in my YouTube videos, maybe one video because I accidentally washed it with colors and it turned tie dyed. And I just, I had to throw it away because it didn't look good. <laughs> But this is like really cool. Um, again, the little hair tie clip. And yeah, that's that's the collection. Um, thank you, Heidi and everyone at Buff Bunny. You guys are the best. Uh, 10 out of 10 with the, with the clothing. I, I would highly recommend my viewers who are watching to uh, size up if you lift. I do think it runs a little bit smaller. That's my opinion. Um, they do have a pretty good return policy, so if you were to purchase something, you could return it, I'm sure of. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment, and we'll keep rolling with this vlog. Bonjour, je m'appelle Missy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, um, guys, a little, little part of uh, the vlog here. We're going to be cooking up some meals because I am going to the NPC Women's Seminar in Phoenix. This thing has been um, sold out for like months now. Actually not sold out because it's free. You have to sign up for it every year. Um, last year there was like 200 people that went to it, all females. This year there's 300. They've upped the attendance and uh, yeah, it's like first come first serve. So there's 300 athletes going to be attending and then there's like superstars on this uh, seminar panel with me. <laughs> no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> So I'm going to be there representing fitness. So is Whitney Jones. We got Yurishna there for wellness. Um, Laura Lee, Jen Doherty. Um, I believe who else is going? Ashley Keltwalser. Um, Andrea Shaw, women's bodybuilding. So yeah, there's going to be some mega people there, uh, which is really exciting. Always good to catch up with them. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along too. Uh, but for now, we got to cook up some beef. 
<laughs> I put zero effort into this, but it's so easy and it's fast. Um, so let's get right into it. This is the Laura's uh, Lean Beef. I like to go grass fed. Um, I just, you know, it's a, like a couple dollars more, but I, I, I do like this brand better. So I just want to show you how I'm like spicing it up. Can you see? Yeah. So we're doing some salt. Wow, everything's moved around. Um, taco seasoning. Oh, Laurie's. This is my fave. And what I'm going to be making, guys, is like a kind of like a Panda Express bowl. Matt can attest that I like to cook everything on high. <laughs> <laughs> and then, sorry, give me a second here. Okay, we'll let that cook up a little. Turn the heat down. Okay, so we're cooking up that beef. We're making like a Panda Express bowl. We're going to be using some green peas and carrots. This is just frozen stuff from the grocery store with some rice. And I'm going to be making three meals. One I'm going to eat right now, and then two are going to be for my, my trip. And then here we got some chicken meatballs that I air fried this afternoon and five ounces of rice in each container. So that is what I'm bringing with me. And um, when I make this Panda Express bowl, sorry I'm all over the place, you guys are gonna see exactly. We're adding takeout sauce from Flavor Gang. Use code Missy to save. Guys, this stuff, it's literally so good. The, the beef meal is like delish. Probably better than Panda Express. Or where, where did we go and I had to have didn't I have Panda Express? Yeah, we ate it on the plane coming back. Plane coming back from Mexico. Yeah. I had Panda Express. Not a lot of options. Yeah, not a lot of options in Mexico. It was like that or Carl's Jr. And the lines were crazy. Yeah. Um, so I got Panda Express, but I got like a fried chicken, the orange chicken, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was good, but like, honestly, if I had this, I would have prefer to eat this. Well, it tastes good, but the macros are just dog shit. Yeah. Well, it's deep fat fried and the sauce is all sugar. Yeah. And it was kind of mystery meat, the chicken. It was yeah. like, ooh. Look at the mac. I don't know if you can read that. Look at the macros on this stuff. Flavor Gangs is awesome. Yeah. So we're getting this beef cooked up here. I'm like really on my best behavior with you filming like the fat isn't splattering everywhere usually the dogs are all down here licking because i'm just I'm like they're not out here th he's sitting right there oh um yeah so now it's kind of like i'm in this phase where i'm back home um i have clients coming into town for uh fitness I'm doing a little bit of like personal training here and there um, in Seattle, which is cool. And uh, really just trying to like hammer the meals now, making sure that everything's on track um, while still being social. So we got Heather coming into town for a girls weekend snowboarding, Snoqualmie, and then Brooke the weekend before is coming to town and we're doing uh, Stevens Pass, I believe, and training. So yeah, I mean, babe, you're gonna be you're getting a lot of girls coming to the house. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be good. I'm so stoked to go boarding because like, I mean, I only went once last year and it was right after the 
It was right after the Arnold. It was like the last weekend it was open. So this year I bought a pass. Way better snow this year. Yeah, way better. Way better snow. Yeah, it's been a lot colder like up in the mountains. So yeah, I'm stoked. We're back. Guys, I forgot one thing. Tony's Sheshery, just a little in the beef. Now, I'm gonna make my meal first, what I'm gonna eat for my dinner. So, uh, I just eyeballed the peas and corn, or <laughs> peas and carrots, and uh, I just microwaved it. So, we're gonna do, can you see? The grams, babe. Ow. It's hot. Okay, we're doing five ounces of rice. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's hot. Okay, and now we're going four ounces of beef. Okay. We're going this yeah this is my favorite boom we'll leave that there and then I'm adding some salt quarter teaspoon of salt yummy now the best part take out like that. Give it a stir. Look at this. Get a good look in there, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. So now, ooh, hot. I'm going to portion out two more meals here. It's boring, so you guys probably don't want to see this. But these chicken meatballs, we have to add sweet poppy. Obviously, you can't take this on your carry-on, right? Sometimes I put them in little squeeze bottles, the four ounces, but because I'm only gone for two days, I'm just carrying everything on. So I will put my sauces on here and not worry about it. And surprisingly, that's a really good cold. Yeah, oh yeah. The chicken meatballs are amazing air fried. Like, effing 10 out of 10. You gotta air fry it though. Um, if you microwave them, they nah. lose the consistency, yeah. yeah. They get a little like, rubbery almost. Um, so the air fry really crisps them. It's yeah, eat it cold. I eat the rice cold, everything. This whole meal is cold. Because I'm not like prepping anymore, it grosses me out to lick the bottle. I don't lick it anymore. Did you know that? I never knew you licked the bottle. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would always lick the bottle. No, huh. I do not. No wonder we both get sick. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, that, there's that. We'll catch you guys in the morning because we're heading to Phoenix bright and early. So I'm gonna eat this and then, uh, yeah, continue packing, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Boom. Au revoir. Good boy. Haha, <laughs> licking butt. All right, so I'm all packed. Uh, Matt is upstairs getting ready for work. So we're gonna run up and say bye to him. And then we are on our way to SeaTac for the women's seminar. I have so much food. I, man, it's kind of hard to pack, but you guys saw yesterday. Oh, man. Here he is. I had this uh, bright and early. Look the bathroom see. fucking messy. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Don't scan around. Uh, you're taking off? Yeah, head now, babe. Awesome. Love you. Love you. Good luck, tubes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're coming, like when you rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, these are like, fun. I like when you travel because then I watch it, like, like on the tubes. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Awesome. Love you, babe. Have fun. Okay, thanks. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey guys, so we made it through security. 
Uh, we're in the Alaska Lounge right now and I packed my first meal with me. So we got uh, two whole eggs, four egg whites. We have a sourdough English muffin that I toasted at home. It's still warm. I like using tin foil because you can, um, it doesn't get that like Tupperware taste to it. And then we have some fruit as well. So we're gonna start eating and then uh, catch our flight to Phoenix. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. <laughs> All right guys. We made it to Phoenix, and uh, the Wings of Strength uh, always does such an awesome job, like, putting us up in, like, the nicest hotel room. So, like, this is, like, a suite at a Hyatt. So we got, like, a fridge. I don't know if there's a microwave. I can't remember. I think there, there definitely is a microwave downstairs, um, which is nice. Got a little desk to work on. I do have a shit ton of client check-ins that I'm doing that I'm in the process of as well. So that'll be good to bust out some work on that little desk. But you guys know when I'm in a hotel room, we got to jump on the bed. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Not used to the whole uh, selfie stick here with the cam. Let's try this again. Oh, that was lame. All right. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put my food in the fridge, get comfortable, and then uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to, wow, I'm seeing stars right now from that jump. <laughs> like, knock myself out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna just like go for a walk outside or just to get like steps in or grocery store or I don't know, there's like a gym across the road there. Mountainside Fitness. Honestly, I probably won't go there, but <laughs> I, I do think that I'll walk outside to bring you guys with me. Get a little fresh air. So, put my food away. We'll be right back. Okay, so, I was gonna bring you guys with me, but I had a bunch of bags and like I needed to get water. So, I wasn't able to like carry the camera. So, I'm sorry tubes, but I'll just show you quickly here what I got. So we got a big jug of water for tomorrow. We got some rice cakes, everything. We have all of our protein from yesterday. Remember we cooked up, so we got some beef here. And then we have um, chicken pound, chicken meatballs. And we got some balsamic dressing. We got Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper Diet got two waters I like to do like the big jug and then these ones and then just fill it up so it's not I'm not obnoxiously drinking from the four liter um, we got two little energy drinks put those down there and then oh we got blue rockstar one for me one for Matt <laughs> actually I will be crushing both of these. <laughs> and we also got the spinach for the uh, chicken meatballs. A banana. We got our night Greek yogurt and I brought protein powder and cream of rice all like divvied up there. So um, we'll be able to do our night meal that you guys have seen on my Instagram some blueberries and a little meth wash and I honestly feel like I have elbow tendonitis now because carrying those bags <laughs> it was like a mile away but it was nice to be outside in the sun um, all right well I'm just gonna chill now and we're gonna get ready in the morning so I will see you guys in a little bit here I'm doing my last meal here I got uh, some Greek yogurt. This is the non-fat plain Shibani. And usually I like to get the Fage lactose-free stuff, but the um, 
Winco, I think it's called. I don't know. It's like a grocery store here. Did not have it. So I got this instead. Um, and then I got some strawberries. This is the um, Axe and Sledge Banana Split Protein Powder. Farm Fed Isolate. So I just sprinkled a little bit in there. You guys know my night meal that I have. And then I'm just cutting up some strawberries here. And we're going to add a little blueberries to this as well. Unfortunately, I don't have like my measuring, but I'm pretty good with eyeballing it. And then a uh, banana. That's obnoxious, right? Like how I just opened it. <laughs> so a little bit of banana. Oh, I give Leo some banana when I was at home. I miss those guys. And then we are doing I had English muffins. <gasps> Where are they? Oh my god, I would have been so upset if I forgot those. Okay, so we got our sourdough English muffin. We're just eating one. And we have 20 grams of almonds. So this is this is our meal. And I also wanted to show you guys something. This is the mouth tape that I use. And you can get it from Amazon. So it's micro pore surgical tape, 3M. And it comes in a little dispenser. And you just go like this. That's even too much. People get so confused on how to tape their mouth. It's very simple. Just like this, and you go like this. Just right across your lips like that. The surgical tape is really good because it's super sticky, right? Um, if you use like masking tape or whatever, most people when they snore and like breathe through their mouth, it'll just like rip right off. And some people do like crazy tape ways. No, one strip right across your lips. Um, I find that if I get up in the middle of the night to like pee or something, I just leave the tape on. Like, don't take it off. Um, it also kind of stops people from like eating in the middle of the night. So if you have that bad habit, um, the mouth tape does help. Just don't take it off. I guess, uh, suppose if you take it off, you could just eat, but I wouldn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to eat this meal and then uh, head to bed and we'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm going au natural tomorrow. Curly hair, so I'm excited to do that and put some makeup on. And uh, yeah, oh, one more thing. My friend V recommended this book. King of Battle and Blood. And oh my gosh, if you like vampires, I'm on chapter four. I like, I literally can't put it down. It's so good. Some really good, like, uh, like intimate scenes already, I guess. It's totally like fiction fantasy. Um, love it. Really, really good. So anyways, we're going to hit the hay. I'm going to keep reading this and catch you guys in the morning. Wow, guys. talk about a freaking mess. I'm so sorry. Look at my bathroom. It's a disaster. Um, <clears throat> this is me, au naturel. <coughs> <coughs> what the heck is going on with me? Anyways, I just like diffused my hair and I threw a little curls in it. Um, like where it was frizzy. So this is like, I think an inch curling iron, the babeless gets really freaking hot. Love it. Definitely recommend. And then the curl cream that I use is a uh, Moroccan curl defining cream. So I use this, I put it through my hair when it's wet or damp, sorry. And then I diffuse it with this thing. So this is my Babeless Ferrari, whatever blow dryer, a little expensive, but honestly it was so worth it. Um, because I can like 
like brown brush uh, blow dry my hair or do that like diffuser, which is, I freaking love it. So you guys saw my outfit. I got my meals packed in my isolator bag down there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading to the women's seminar. So you guys are coming too. Let's get down there. Jim Manning for, in 1982, establishing and organizing the NPC. He officially organized the NPC in 1982. And, you know, as I'm sitting here and standing here and thinking about it, I look at Debbie, right? And guys, in 1982, I wish Jim was here, but when I see you, I think of Jim, right? Strong woman, you raised an amazing family. Uh, but what I think of, mostly, in 1982, I was 20 years old. And I'm so grateful for Jim Mannion, because at that time, I had just graduated from Western Michigan University. I was an athlete all through high school, through college, and that's where I really fell in love with health and fitness. That was my passion. My goal was to walk away with a college degree, and I did that, and graduated. But that was probably the first time in my life where I was became a little bit depressed because my, there was a void. I had this great job, but I really had no place to go to um, express myself in health and fitness. And so I decided to join a gym in 1983. I walked into the Powerhouse Gym in Highland Park, Michigan. And this, the first place where I learned of and heard someone say NPC. That was the first place where I got the opportunity or laid my eyes on a bodybuilder. So for me, going back to that day, when I think about women, within one week of joining that gym, this was during a time when uh, women trained separately from the men. There were only three women at this gym, and it was a large gym. To this day, I'm still friends with the three women. Still friends. So for me, when I look in this audience, and I see this room filled with women, and I know my journey in 1982, now it's what, 40 years later. This is, it's just amazing. So for me, this is just such a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, guys. It is. Backstage, those ladies, they helped me put my oil on. We had no expedi we had expediters, but, to but what we have today is amazing. They helped me to put my posing suits on, we worked together and they were with me. My first Miss Olympia that I won in 1990 and my eight consecutive Olympias. So, ladies, this is a very, 
very special time. Very special time. So as um, Alex told you, uh, I'm putting on a show, I'm a promoter now, and I will have, we will have the Atlanta Pro in Atlanta, Georgia on July 14th, on July 15th. All NPC divisions, the Atlanta NPC, Atlanta Classic, and the Atlanta Pro. Got a bracelet for impact Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack Quick stack, think fast and I talk real I give a fuck about how they feel Me and Zay just dropped the propane And it sounded like massive pill For my dog, I'ma ride to the wheels Alright my tubes Actually a few of you gals Were at the women's workshop this weekend So thank you so much for coming up to me and chatting Again, that's This is why like Matt and I do YouTube Is because For my tubes and everyone who follows along my journey um i i appreciate you guys all so much you know coming up and chatting and telling me about your fitness journeys and you know maybe how i've like inspired you to do something that you wouldn't have done um or to like keep you motivated um sunday morning cardio so that's like that like is super humbling um so i appreciate you guys a lot so i'm just gonna wrap up the weekend real quick here um, real, real quick. <laughs> this is a scoop and a half of cream of rice with some accent sledge protein powder and we got some peanut butter in here. 
uh, you guys, if you watched the live stream of the women's workshop, you can see me just like eating my meals. Um, honestly, I don't really care where I am. If it's time to eat, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm in my off season like I'm having more food so it takes a little bit longer for me to eat but usually like Matt and I eat our meals in like a minute uh, eating fast I mean I just get it over with but now it takes me a little longer so yeah I was up there on the panel just eating away <laughs> eating my rice and chicken pound <laughs> but it was such it was such a great workshop and all the women there are super inspiring you know a lot of champs and in, in the divisions the bikini lineup was like completely stacked um i really really enjoyed seeing those girls and um yeah i hope you guys if you can tune into that live stream um i know they're gonna have like a replay of it so it there were a lot of good tips in there for you know being on stage and how to hit posing um there was also segments on your social media, how to get sponsors, that type of stuff. And all from like a woman's perspective, which is pretty cool. All around, it was an awesome weekend. If you haven't been to the Women's Workshop, make sure you follow it on Instagram. I believe it's MPC Women's Workshop. And when they post the, po the new um, poster for 2024, make sure you sign up for it. It's a free event and it's like, it, the registration like fills up so quickly so you don't want to miss it make sure you get on that list so you can be here in 2024 <laughs> so guys that wraps the video hope you enjoyed this vlog we did a lot here I'm uh, really excited to get home see Matt and the weenies I miss babe so much <laughs> it's funny because like so many people ask about him and um, especially at these like fitness events like oh where's Matt and Vince, he's at home taking care of the babies but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna catch you guys in the next video and I love you guys thank you so much for always tuning in to your favorite fitness athlete two-time Miss Fitness Olympia see you guys <laughs>